What's going on guys, Black Sky Survival. Today we're gonna be talking about how to um, like multi-cam style black your rifle. It's not technical multi-cam, but it's gonna, you know, kind of give that appearance. I said I was gonna do this video a long time ago. People people have been bugging me about it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. The first thing you wanna do is obviously take off your stock and uh, you wanna tape up the, the portions here the, so it doesn't get ins inside the um, ch chassis of the stock. I'm not gonna do that because this is old stock. I'm just uh, telling you that so you don't get paint all on the inside. The next thing you'll need, I'm not priming this weapon because I, I, don't, I didn't prime my first one and I don't prime my Kydex if it's, if it's black, right? But if it doesn't start off as black, you'll wanna obviously prime it, okay? So if you don't start off with a black gun, I would suggest priming it or if it's really messed up or something like that, you may wanna paint it black first because you do want a very a dark, rich black at the, at the bottom layer okay you'll need some kind of olive some kind of dark olive color you'll need a light gray you'll need a kind of a slate or charcoal type gray and you'll need a black and then a clear coat to finish it off and kind of protect it this is a two times X ultra cover by rust-oleum and i think all of these are pretty much rust-oleum too so anyhow the next thing you'll need and you can get these on ebay just a stencil and basically a stickers. You'll peel them off and stick them to your stock. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off with olive and gray, and you're going to go in like slashing vertically on the stock, okay? And just kind of mist it, don't, you know, just sit there, you know, just spraying all over. So you just want to kind of go like this. And so what you'll do is, is this will be like, you'll kind of crisscross. pattern so after you hit with green you'll hit with gray right and then green and then gray So you do that pattern all across and if you need to touch up anything, any gray, just, you know, to kind of make it a little bit brighter. And likewise, if any green you need to hit again, after you see it, go ahead and just hit it and then we'll let that dry. So after the green and the gray dry, we're gonna take this charcoal and now we're going to kind of hit in between the, the green and the gray. Really this is to lighten up the gray a little bit because this, this gray is such a light color, uh, so darken up this gray because this gray is such a light color. So you really just want to kind of hit to minimize how much of this, this gray is shown, right? So you want to be careful, kind of hit it like this. and just minimize that, that really light gray. And, and don't worry, you're not gonna mess it up. So we'll let that dry now and then we'll remove the stickers and come back and hit it with some black in the clear coat. Let's go ahead and take these stickers off and do the reveal. A lot of you guys are probably questioning me. 
But once you see the stickers taken off, you're gonna see it all come together. And if you have some stubborn stickers, you can kind of um, pull them off like with the other stickers. Gotta be careful though, because I actually just snatched some paint off from pulling that one sticker off. But that's okay. We can, we're gonna fix all that kind of stuff whenever we do the touching at the end. Okay, so now we stripped off all the stickers. You'll see I kind of did a paint pool in a few places. That's okay, that's gonna happen because we're going to soften up these black edges now with black paint. And this will give it really that multi-cam style look. But, you know, I did this very hastily, um, trying to quickly do this for you guys. So if I took my time, it would look a lot better. If you see my sniper rifle at the beginning of the video, you'll know um, you can do this really well if you take your time. We're gonna hit it with some black and you wanna be very, you know, careful with the black because you could really ruin it. You just wanna hit outside edges and kind of correct anything you, you messed up on the tape, so. I always like to hit the edges of the, you know, because I feel like it just kind of That's it guys, that's the finished product. You can see that black really softens up those hard lines and gives that a uh, good, good camo, uh, multi-cam style pattern. And you know, you can, you can do this with uh, lighter tones like the, the tans and beiges and, and light greens and make, you know, the standard uh, multi-cam style look. But uh, you know, you'll want to do the whole rifle. So you have to do one side and then flip the other. You can also do Kydex. I do my holsters, my uh, mag pouches and all those sort of things. But I think it turned out really good. And you can play with it, you can do a lot of different things. You know, kind of keep the uh, stencils in one direction, like, you know, horizontally. That's how I like to do it horizontally across the rifle. Then you paint vertically. Um, so it'll give that good looking pattern there. But if you try it, if you do this uh, gig, I mean, you can really even cut out your own stencils if you want with some tape and, and pretty much do the same thing. Just uh, snap a photo, put on Instagram, tag us in it so we can see it. And uh, let us let us see uh, y'all's uh, project. So anyhow, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, learned something. And uh, let's see those uh, let's see those uh, paint jobs you guys do. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching Black Scout Survival.